In this video, I'm going to take you through South Lake, Texas on the map. That way it can provide a little bit of perspective on where you are in relationship to Dallas and everything else around you. And if you watch our vlog tour through South Lake, then it'll provide some additional context to that video as well. And we're getting into it right now. <laughs> Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for the most thorough deep dive into all things Dallas, Texas, I want to invite you to subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date on the current market here in Dallas, Texas. We drop new videos every single week. My name is Jimmy Webb Jr. I'm a local real estate agent born and raised here, and we're getting a ton of calls and emails every single day from people just like you who are ready to make a move here in Dallas, and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about buying or selling here in the Dallas area, then you gotta reach out to us, You know, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or jump on our calendar. It's all in the description below. And we've got your back when making a smooth move here in Dallas, Texas, or in South Lake, like we're talking about today. So uh, without further ado, let's jump onto the computer and I'll take you on a map tour of South Lake, Texas. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to South Lake, this highlighted area right here. But as always, we're gonna zoom out, go high level, here, show you where you are in relationship to everything else here. I'll bust out the fancy pen tool. So if you take 114 right here, that's the major highway that uh, runs through South Lake, and you take it past the airport, I'll touch on that in a moment, uh, and then take it all the way, this turns into 35 right here, and then that'll bring you right in here to downtown Dallas. That's, that's maybe a 20, maybe 25 minute drive uh, depending on where you are in South Lake, right? Um, over into downtown Dallas. And then of course, you know, you're right here five to 10 minutes away from one of the largest airport hubs in the country, right? And so I know a lot of uh, successful uh, individuals who live in South Lake who, you know, it, their job requires them to travel quite a bit. And so having that literally right in your backyard uh, is very convenient for them. And so uh, a lot of nonstop flights out of DFW um, and pretty affordable tickets, you know, being centrally located, uh, you're not having to go as far, right? So uh, that can be a, a, a cool perk, right? And so, you know, I, personal experience, I, I'm looking at going over to, uh, I'm a, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a Glasgow Rangers guy. So for any of you who know what that is, then major bonus points to you, but um, you know, nonstop flight over to London. Uh, I got some buddies in Puerto Rico. I visit from time to time as well. And you know, we don't have to stop in Miami along the way, right? You just go straight down there. I'm um, going to LA here pretty soon. And you know, that ticket was only 150 bucks, right? And so, you know, that's practically nothing, right? So very affordable right there. So um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's where you are there. Oh, I forgot. Um, Let's, so if you wanna to go to a cowboy game, I know that's important to some people. So, you know, you can just take 360. I know you kind of wind right there, but 360, boom, puts you right here. There's six flags. And then if we zoom in, I'll zoom in here for you. Uh, you've got at t Stadium, AKA Jerry World right there. If you haven't been to a game, that is a pretty impressive structure right there. Um, you know, I, I know they've, uh, they built some new newer stadiums uh, that are maybe more impressive. I know uh, the one out uh, in Atlanta is pretty cool, and the one that they just built off, built in LA is like mind blowing out there. But um, hey, I, I think uh, I think AT&T Stadium started that whole trend, right? So maybe uh, yeah, we're trendsetters here. I'll, I'll go with that. So uh, and then you've also got the new uh, Texas Rangers ballpark. Um, uh, I guess there's a game tonight. Uh, well, usually there's a picture I could show you, but, but there's a retractable roof. They just they just came out with it, uh, or sorry, just finished it, rather, um, and they actually played, what, the World Series there last year, right, when COVID was happening and everything. But um, I went to the opening day where the actual Rangers got to play in it for the first time, and that was a ton of fun. It is 
absolutely gorgeous inside of that stadium. I mean, they uh, really n left no stone unturned in there. Um, it is beautiful in there. Here's the, the old, bar old ballpark, uh, Globe Life uh, Park. So there's Globe Life Field and Globe Life Park. And so, yeah, this one, as you can see, it's just completely open. And so, you know, I remember that when that one was built, I was a little kid and they brought the All-Star game. You know, I, I must have been, shoot, maybe six, seven, eight years old or something like that. And uh, uh, I just, I have flashbacks happening in my mind right now. But um, anyway, I mean, that, it's just, you know, hey, baseball season is in the summer and it gets hot here in the summer. And so if you're uh, wanting to catch a ball game, just, uh, you know, be prepared to, uh, you know, you might bake out there at Globe Life. And so I think that was a major reason of why we wanted to uh, bring, in a, bring in a retractable roof down here to Texas. And so, um, yeah, make sure you bring your sunscreen if you're, if you're going out to Globe Life, all right? And then also while I'm here, I'll talk about Texas Live real quick. So this is, if, you, if, if you're not going to the game, but you wanna be around the atmosphere, Texas Live is literally right here in the middle of uh, where the Cowboys and Rangers play. And it's a pretty, I mean, there's tons of bars in here. You got the beer garden right there. Uh, you've got, yeah, this one's, it's two stories on the inside. I mean, it's, it gets pretty rowdy in there, right? And so, uh, you know, great spot to uh, catch a little atmosphere for the game. Uh, and then obviously if you like your, your thrills, you can go to, go, you can go to Six Flags over here. Yeah, there's the Titan. That's the big one over there in Six Flags. That drop is no joke. So if you like your thrills, then you can head on over to Six Flags right there. So uh, coming back up 360 up here to South Lake. Uh, let's let's talk about what's around you here. So you've got obviously you've got Grapevine Lake. You're bordering it right there. And so you know, hey, we love our lake life out here in Texas. So uh, if you're moving to South Lake, you might consider. Uh, getting a boat uh, it's a very boating friendly you know go out there go tubing uh, if you watch the vlog uh, at the end I, uh, I i saw some people tubing and everything and so uh, if you haven't checked out the vlog you'll definitely want to check that one uh, out after this uh, but yeah grapevine lake is a pretty chill uh, really cool lake actually and uh, then you've got grapevine to the east of you really cool uh, um, kind of slow pace uh, residential neighborhood there and then you've got Colleyville just south of you kind of the same same thing uh, and then Keller to the west of you so what here's the deal when I when I think of when I think of Keller I think Fort Worth right and so when I think when I think about South Lake I don't know I don't really think of Fort Worth really um, but I, I don't necessarily equate it to Dallas so maybe South Lake is like the the, the, the middle, right? The, the border uh, of what separates it all maybe, right? So I do consider Grapevine, you know, Grapevine's, oh, that's not that far, right? And so, um, you, but Keller, if I, if I zoom out a little bit, yeah, so you've got Fort Worth right here, right? So there's Dallas, here's Fort Worth. And so Keller's right here on this side, right? So South Lake's kind of in the middle, right? So it kind of splits it up a little bit. So, but again, Keller's, a, um, you know, an up-and-coming uh, neighborhood very you know you can find some really nice homes in there uh, we'll do some more videos on Keller specifically uh, and then you've got Westlake up here so actually if I if I zoom in I'll show you uh, what I talked about yeah Schwab is over here by this Turner Lake up here uh, you've got a lot of you know that's where as I mentioned in the vlog this is where you know Ross Perot owned a lot of land out here and so a lot of headquarters are jumping out here to Westlake and so you know kind of the the feel is you know people work in Westlake and live in Southlake kind of uh, you know not entirely but you know you kind of get the point there um, and they live in Trophy Club up here as well so um, but yeah you've got uh, a ton of a ton of cool stuff around you right um, obviously the, the airport is a is a big deal so let's go through some of the numbers now so in Southlake You've got uh, 31,000 people in their population. Uh, now, one thing that you'll definitely want to know is 94% of people in Southlake own their home. Okay, and so 
you know, this is really a spot where you're coming to, you know, grow some roots, really get involved in the community, right? There are no apartments in South Lake. That's one of the, uh, the things that uh, South Lake as a community, you know, they have, they have benchmarks that they want to hit, you know, decade by decade. They've really thought it out. Uh, it's a very, uh, when I say master plan community, I mean master planned, okay? And so uh, they've really thought this out. Um, and, uh, you know, th th this is really a place where, you know, it, I will say you definitely get the community vibe, uh, more so than maybe in other places, not to say that other places don't, but it's just kind of elevated a little bit in South Lake, you know, everybody's a dragon in South Lake and I'll show you, uh, you know, where the, uh, where the football games, where they play all those and everything. Okay. Uh, median income in South Lake is 240,000. So that's per household, right? And then the median home value is 675. Okay, so yep, it's a little pricey. Okay, you gotta bring your checkbook if you're coming to South Lake. But uh, yeah, the I mean, a lot of people come here. It's phenomenal schools across the board. Some of the best in the state, uh, if not the country. Um, and then it's it's very safe right as well. So um, You know, you've got uh, a lot of good things happening in, here in South Lake uh, Now if you watch the vlog again um, I'll show you actually the, the top listing right now in South Lake if you take that one over you'll be taking it over from a, uh, a former all-star NBA player so hey if that's your thing then you'll you do have a basketball court a full indoor basketball court uh, in your backyard there so uh, if you want to see that then you can go check out the vlog but hey if you like what we're talking about so far hey please tap that like button give us a thumbs up and um, uh, you know make sure you're subscribed as well uh, you definitely don't want to miss the next video that I drop which will be that uh, pros and cons of South Lake with my good friends who live here um, they're gonna break it down. You know, what is it really like in South Lake? So uh, make sure you're subscribed. We drop new videos every single week, so you definitely want to tap the bell uh, so you know when we drop our next video. And uh, hey, if you're looking for something in particular as well, always feel free. You can comment uh, on any one of these videos. Really, let me know what you're looking for, and you know, we'll, we'll bump up the priority for that one. Okay. So uh, now let's talk about. Let me show you where. The, uh, the major intersections are here. So it, everything kind of starts at Kimball right here. So Kimball Avenue. Uh, so as you come 114, right, you come and Kimball is kind of that first uh, major exit right there. And then you've got Carroll Avenue and then White Chapel Boulevard uh, and then Dove Road up here. And then actually, well, Davis up here. Uh, and then Davis turns into Randall Mill uh, down here on the south side. Yeah, Randall slash Davis Boulevard uh, and then you've got oh you've got Peytonville as well which is where South Lake Carroll uh, senior high is so you've got the senior high right there and then you've got the junior high right there so you got 9th and 10th graders over there and then uh, 11th and 12th graders over here okay uh, and then going uh, right east and west you've got Continental Boulevard there you got South Lake Boulevard there that's the major one uh, and then Dove Road on the north side up here before you hit uh, the lake up there. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's let's go to South Lake and Carroll right here. So this is where the major city center is. This is what they call the bubble. Okay, so there is literally, I mean, everything that you can imagine is gonna be right in here. Okay, so this is the courthouse right here uh you know this is where this is where i was uh, at the beginning of the vlog right just hanging around here um there i mean there's all sorts of restaurants um high class shopping boutique boutique shopping as well uh, you know you've got uh, you got your apple store in here you got all, literally anything that you that you need it, it's pretty much going to be in this little center here or across the street uh, you've got some things uh, going on over here as well. Okay, so uh, and and uh, I do mention as well, parking can be uh, kind of frustrating sometimes on the weekend, uh, especially not really during the week. It's fine, but 
uh, during the weekend it can get kind of crazy and so here's what happens when you come in here just so you know when you come in you're, pro you're either gonna be coming in from South Lake over here South Lake when I say South Lake I mean South Lake Boulevard uh, you'll be coming in right here on onto Grand Avenue uh, and just trying to find a parking spot right around here somewhere so there's parking like right in front of these um, uh, stores right or shops whatever you want to call them but what a lot of people don't know is there's a parking garage back here and it's kind of hidden like you if you didn't if you're coming here for the first time you might not even know that it's there right because it's hidden by you know these shops right here that kind of go around it okay and so um, uh, I guess I got to replace the batteries on my on my mouse here pretty soon but yeah it, it is back here so if you can't find parking then you might want to go around uh, to the garage here and if you're coming from the Carroll Avenue side from the north side you know what you do typically kind of how it flows is you see you come you see prospect and you start to see stuff and you're like oh okay cool and then you come in on Main Street and you're like okay yeah this is it this is where I need to be and then you 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 wouldn't even know that the garage is there right so Anyway, just now you know, okay? And so uh, you can keep an eye out for it. Uh, now, coming over here to Kimball Avenue in South Lake. So this is where you've got like your, your Lowe's is over here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. So you got your Lowe's, your Costco as well. Um, you know, you, you've got a lot of your big box stores and some more restaurants and everything. Um, and so that's where, uh, you know, this is, Again, if, if you need anything, it's probably going to be in one of these two spots right here. Okay, that's kind of where the hub is. Okay, and then uh, Dragon Stadium right here. So this is where the high school football games are played. Um, you know, I mentioned in the in the vlog as well. Uh, a lot of a lot of top prospects come out of South Lake. You know, uh, I think I believe right now the quarterback is. Uh, I think the number one, it's either number one or number two quarterback prospect. It's between him and the, the Manning boy there, uh, top quarterback prospect in the nation. And so, uh, you know, we've got a few players in the NFL right now as well. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty fun. Now, one thing you need to know, I met, as I mentioned earlier, right, you've got the senior high over here, but the football games are over here. Okay, so if you uh, come over here looking for the football stadium, you're not gonna find it, okay? I mean, you will find this little guy right here, but that's not a football stadium, okay? So uh, yeah, the the actual stadium is over here, and it's massive. I mean, it's it's really like uh, uh, not a profession, but it's kind of like a kind of like a college stadium. I mean, you know, uh, it's it's pretty impressive up there. So uh, anyway. Now you've got, um, let's see. So as we come here, yeah, Bicenten Bicentennial Park is over here. Um, got a lot of um, good stuff going on in there. Oh yeah, this is where the, the I call them the dinosaurs. I don't know what else to call them. Um, or no, they're not dinosaurs, they're dragons, right? Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, so you can like go in there. The kids love going on in there. <laughs> Um, I, don't, I always called them dinosaurs, but yeah, as I say that, I'm like, actually, well, you're in dragon country, right? So, you know, uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, I hope you, you have some green in your wardrobe, by the way. So, you know, you're gonna need some green. If you don't, then I, I'm sure you'll have no problem finding uh, some green to, to buy and rock when you go to the football games and everything out here, okay? Uh, now, White Chapel, the reason why it's called White, White Chapel, Road. I always, I always want to say White's Chapel. I don't know why, but it's White Chapel Road uh, because of this big old white. Oh, because it's White's Chapel Church. That's why. I think that's why I wanted to say it. So anyway, uh, but that's where that is. That's kind of the big uh, church that kind of everybody knows about. Uh, you, you got a ton of churches around, honestly. Uh, like you got Gateway over there uh, and everything. You got uh, quite a few. Uh, over here but yeah so that's white chapel road actually funny story um i so uh, and on a different vlog on, on the other channel you know i we we pulled into here and i was like wait a second as i pull as we turned left right here i was like wait a second i've been down this road before because i visited a, a a business partner um back in the day who lived right around here somewhere and 
it, the reason that I, I brought that story up is because when he when they were building that house, it wasn't done yet, uh, but they were going through with the builder, and uh, you know he brought his little kid in there, and he has a, a good relationship with God and everything, right? And so uh, his kid, as soon as they walked in, I got you know because you enter from the street here, and she came in the the, the house this way. And she looked, obviously, to the, to, I'm trying to point with my finger, but she looked to the back and saw the, the big uh, steeple, the church. And she said, look, Daddy, look, a cross, right? And so that's when he knew that he needed to move there. And so anyway, I, I like telling that story. Anytime uh, you, know, you talk about White's Chapel Church, I got to tell that story. So um, anyway, but uh, yeah, so that's, um, yeah, so you're going to have a lot of commercial uh, off of South Lake Boulevard here as well. Um, you know, just coming down here and then it kind of stops over here at Rena or, or the uh, the line kind of starts at Rena Mill slash Davis over there. Uh, you've also got the Country Club Timurong about down here. Timurong Country Club. Uh, beautiful, beautiful golf course. Uh, a lot of water around as well. So uh, hopefully you're a good golfer and you don't, uh, don't get wet too much <laughs> when you play there. Uh, but then on the north side, up here, you know, you've got uh, the Bob Jones Park, uh, the Bob Jones Na Nature Preserve. You know, uh, you've got uh, so. I mean, listen, if if you if you want to go hiking and different things like that, I mean, there's, uh, yeah, you see you see this this dotted green line. If you follow my mouse here, that's a a whole trail right there. And so, I mean, you could you can literally go all the way up here into Trophy Club. Yeah, that that. Club Park, um, honestly never been right here, but um, you know, you can take it all the way up there if you wanted to. So um, anyway, one of my one of my buddies lives uh, somewhere around here. And uh, I know, you know, he, him and his, uh, his oldest boy, he was telling me would go, uh, they kind of live back, I forget where exactly. Uh, and on, probably not a good idea to tell you where they live, but um, you know, they're back here somewhere. And, They've got, uh, they live on a cul-de-sac and it'll take them, there's a trail, uh, if you go to the end of the cul-de-sac, there's a trail that'll take them to the, uh, to that trail and they, they'll take it all the way around, it'll take them to the lake and that's kind of a cool thing for you know him and his little ones to, to do, right? To stay active, they're a very active family and so yeah, that's one thing that they like to do. Uh, yeah, hey, listen, if you're, um, you know, hey, if you watch this video, I'm telling you, you have to watch the vlog as well because, you know, uh, they, they kind of go together, right? It's like peanut butter and jelly, these vlogs and the map videos, right? Because I, I mentioned things in the vlog that I don't mention here, and this is more of an overview thing. So, uh, you know, one thing I will mention is, you know, hey, if, you're, if your kid is in athletics, you know, South Lake is, is it's pretty serious. And, and when I say serious, it's, it's pretty cutthroat as well. You know, I mean, it's, this is a, a high high end area. Uh, you know the parents understand the 10,000 hour rule, mastering your craft. They understand uh, how that works, and you know private coaching is a big thing. And so, you know when you get uh, out there, uh, you know trying to make the top. You know if you're trying to make be a starter for South Lake Carroll High School football, you know you're gonna have to bring some game. You know, and so uh, like they don't they don't mess around. Like they they win state titles out here and it's a, it's a big deal out here okay so just so you kind of understand the athletic side of things as well okay so um yeah i mean i think uh i covered quite a bit here just trying to look over if i missed anything else um yeah i mean i covered westlake yeah you got some more golf uh, going on at sky creek and then vaquero as well so yeah i think uh I think that about does it but hey if this is where you want to be then you got to reach out to us so all of our info is in the description below you know shoot us a text uh, give us a call send us an email or if you, if you want to jump straight on a zoom with us and meet with us in person we like you know getting uh, uh, putting a, a face with a name there obviously and then uh, yeah again if you watched this far please give us a thumbs up if you liked what we cover here today and make sure you're subscribed you definitely don't want to miss that next video i'm telling you and um, if you're looking for, you know, if you want to do some more research and you like our style, then head to our main channel. If you click the Dallas, Texas living name below, use our search bar in there. And, you know, we, uh, the, we like, like I say uh, in, in the intros, right? 
the most thorough deep dive that's what we do on this channel so uh, if you're looking for something then uh, definitely uh, utilize our channel that's going to be the best way okay and then uh, as i mentioned before if you're looking for uh, something that maybe we haven't covered yet then feel free leave a comment and we'll be happy to uh, you know make a video on whatever you guys are looking for again you know this isn't this isn't for me right this i don't think i'm that cool so uh, this is for for you guys uh, whatever you guys want, I'm here to give it to you, and uh, uh, but you gotta let me know. Uh, telepathy isn't really my thing. I'm not really good at that. So uh, if you guys let me know, then uh, I'll get it out there for you guys. Okay. So uh, yeah, if you don't know where to go from here, then you should see some videos popping up on the end screen right now, and uh, they can definitely point you in the right direction. And hey, until next time, I'll see you around town.